Hey everyone, this is Oliver. Why did you manifest me just now? Well, you see, the thing is, I've manifested a lot of things. I've manifested my dream career as an artist, sold pieces for up to 24K, manifested my dream physique, met my dream girl, traveled all around the world. But it didn't start like this. I tried many things before, like affirmation, vision board, uh, dreaming big, setting big goals, visualization, thinking positive and all these things, but they haven't worked for me. What really worked for me is something I call the sweet spot method. And I'm gonna share with you what that means and how it works. So you can use it for your life and attract everything you want. And the reason you manifest to me is because you're on the perfect frequency to receive this method and use it for your life. Because you see, everything is energy, right? And the fact that you clicked on this video and resonated with it means that you're in the perfect frequency and you're also in a frequency where you can implement that. Because in the end of the day, it's not just about watching a video. You have to watch it, but then also implement it, right? And I trust because everything happens for a reason that you're here right now. You're here for the right reasons and you can make it work. You can use the sweet spot method and manifest anything you want. So let's dive right into it. So first of all, why did these things not work for me? Like affirmations, positive thinking, vision board, dreaming big. Why did these things not work for me? First of all, because they miss a key point, which nobody talks about, which is belief. So you can think positive and say the best affirmations you want and even listen to alpha brainwave music and all this fancy stuff. But if you don't really believe in your goal, in your dream, whatever you want to manifest, it's not going to happen. And so when I learned this, everything changed for me. So what is the sweet spot method? First, it's very simple. So listen up. First, high belief. Second, high desire. These two things make the sweet spot. So what, do, what does this mean exactly? First, you need to have a belief in what you want. If you don't have a belief, don't focus on it because it's not in the sweet spot, which means it won't come into your life. Most things, most things we want, they trigger doubt. They actually make us focus on the lack of what we want. So we look at the vision board and we're like, wow, you know, I want all these things. Maybe we are inspired and motivated for a bit, for a day, two days a week. And then this wears off and we start doubting and we look at the vision board and all we can see is actually the lack of, no, of having it. So we focus on not having it. And in the end, you get what you focus on. These things often happen unconsciously. So you think you're focusing on what you want, but in actuality, you focus on what you don't have. And so we want to change that with the sweet spot method. The second part is the desire. You need to have a high desire. And that's after Napoleon Hill. You need to have a burning desire for anything you want. Don't have a burning desire for it. It's not going to come because you don't have enough energy to put out into the universe to actually draw it to you. So you have to have a burning desire. And so let's actually put that into practice and make it work, work for you today. After this video, I want you to have your sweet spot and being able to focus on it so you can attract it in your life. And also when you have the sweet spot, when you have something that you want, which is in the sweet spot, this is the thing that comes the fastest into your reality. So let's do the exercise. I want you to write down everything and anything that you want if you couldn't fail. And you just won the lottery 10 times, you have millions on your bank ac account, you have so much money on your account, you don't even know what to do with it. So pause the video and write it down. Set an alarm to 10 minutes and you can also do it after the video when you listen to the description. And then you write everything down that comes to your mind. That's it. Do that. And when you have done that, so you can either pause the video right now and do it and come back later or listen to the whole instruction and do it after the video. Up to you. So if you've done it, the next step is rate everything on your list from a belief, from your belief level from 1 to 10. So how much do you really believe you can achieve that, have that, or do that? Whatever you wrote down. From 1 to 10. With everything, right? So, if you've done that, we go to the last step, which is burning desire. So, how much do you really want these things? Rate everything from 1 to 10 on how much you really want it. Do you really have a burning desire for these things or is it just a wish? Is it, is it just something you picked up from a friend and you don't even really want it? For me, it was the case with a watch. I always wanted a watch, a Rolex. And I realized at one point I wanted it because my friends wanted it and one of them has it. But 
you know, the more I was thinking about it, the more I realized I don't really have a burning desire for it. So it doesn't motivate me at all because I don't even really want it, right? So it's important to be honest to yourself and rate everything from one to 10. If you've done that, what you have now is like a list with things that are rated with the belief and the desire from one to 10. And now the sweet spot is something that's in between eight to 10 in both, right? Belief eight to 10 and desire eight to 10. Maybe you have one thing, maybe you have none of them. If you have none, on, none of them, you have blockages that we need to address in a later video. But if you do have one thing, what I want you to do then, after the video or now, if you already have it, is visualize yourself having that. And that's actually also the test. How do you test if you were really honest with yourself? But because this exercise requires you to be honest, right? Because if you say, I believe I can get it for, you know, my belief level for this thing is, is an eight or nine, but in actuality, it's a five. It's not gonna work. So you have to be honest. What you do then is you pick the one thing where you have the highest belief and the highest desire, and then you actually visualize yourself having this, experiencing this. So you, and that's where visualization works. It doesn't work for things that you don't believe in, but it works if you do that. If you focus on the sweet spot and you imagine that, right? So you visualize yourself having that, experiencing it, traveling, having your dream partner, the money, the career, whatever it is. And then pay attention. And by the way, visualization, that's also another for another video because this will go too long. But what you mainly want to do is just like experiencing, be, being in the experience of having it, doing it, being that which means like the colors, the surrounding, the people that are with you. You know, maybe somebody's congratulating you for, for having done that, that you achieved that, that you manifested this amount of money or your dream partner, people congratulate you for your dream partner, whatever it is, right? You're just imagining it very vividly. Pay attention to how you feel. After the visualization, which can just be like five, 10 minutes, that's enough. Five minutes is usually enough to test it. If you feel good afterwards, Congratulations, you're in the sweet spot. You have something that's in the sweet spot. If you feel worse than before, you focus again on something that you don't really believe in. And that makes you feel bad. So it brings up doubt and the lack of having it. So that's it, that's the sweet spot method. I hope it helps. It helped me a lot. This also takes practice, by the way. Because the first time I did it, I, I was kind of not really honest with myself. And I want you to do this again. Now with the knowledge that you have about the sweet spot, you can do this ex exercise again and again. And by the way, if you want to learn how I made the law of attraction work for me and manifested many amazing things that I have now in my life, you can click the link below and join my free Manifest Your Dreams community. That's basically where I share all my knowledge that I have around the law of attraction, also other things that I learned. And it's a cool community with like-minded people. So if you want to learn more, click the link below. And otherwise, that's it for today. Thank you for listening and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.